Hi guys, this is Tiffany. I'm gonna wait um, just a minute or so for more people to jump on before I give you the update on our sweet little Felicia that we brought in last night. Okay guys, um, this is Tiffany. I am here at Lauderdale Veterinary Specialists, now known as Blue Pearl, um, where we brought Felicia last night. If you saw last night, uh, we pulled her from Miami-Dade. She was urgent, um, set to be euthanized. If nobody pulled her, um, she was found collapsed on a sidewalk when she was brought in to Miami-Dade Animal Services yesterday. We immediately placed our hold and I ran down there to get her. The car ride back was heart-wrenching because she started crying and seemed to be in distress. Um, we got here, here last night. They said her vitals were good, but um, Amy and I were just looking at her and we were just knowing something is not right with her. And we both believed, um, just from experience, saving so many dogs, that she had some head trauma. So I came to visit her today and unfortunately that is exactly what's going on. She has trauma. Um, they shaved her leg over here, she's kind of laying on it so you can't see it too well, but the leg that her catheter was in, the doctor um, who's here today shaved all the way up and you can see it's all very, very bruised. Um, she definitely has neurologic signs um, of trauma, especially on the left side of her face which is this side, she can't really close that eye. It is red and bluesed and bloody. Um, she's got issues with the left side of her nostril as well. Um, she also has um, an issue in her lungs, which the doctor believes could sometimes be associated with trauma, but could also be pneumonia. So she was started <clears throat> excuse me, on antibiotics first thing this morning for possible pneumonia. Um, she is still on IV fluids. She was started on some anti-nausea meds to see if that would help her eat because she did not eat at all last night. Um, she did eat a little bit of chicken this morning, but um, she's she's really not doing well. It's definitely trauma of some sort, we believe, hit by a car. The bruising up and down her leg is really bad, and obviously this it's very evident in her eye. Um, and we could just tell last night that she definitely had some neurologic issues going on. Um, we can't rule out there's anything else going on. You know, she's got some elevated protein, elevated white cell count, um, the doctor believes if it is trauma related with supportive care, she should start showing improvements within the next two days. Um, if she's not showing any kind of improvement, then there could be something else going on, which would entail more blood work, different blood panels. Um, <clears throat> but it's not this is not the visit I was hoping for today. I was hoping to see her a little bit more awake and neurologically sound, and that's not the case. Um, she's in the best hands. She's at the 24-hour critical care hospital, um, which is the best that we can do for her right now. So she is going to stay here so she can have around-the-clock care. 
Um, she was having some breathing issues overnight last night, so they want to keep a very close eye on her um, for that reason. Also, she needs to stay on the IV antibiotics and fluids to try to keep her strength up. Um, so this is the new estimate. This is for two days of supportive care to see if we can get her over the hump. This is in addition to the estimate that you guys saw last night. The estimate last night was just for last night. This is a new estimate to see if we can get her over the hump the next couple of days. So the low end is 1200 and the high end is 1733. Are you okay? Are you okay, mommy? What? Are you okay, sweetheart? Are you uncomfortable like that? Are you uncomfortable? Alice, you can't hear me? Can everybody else hear me okay? I hope everybody can hear me okay. Yes, yes, you can hear me, okay. Um, okay, good, you guys can hear. Um, I see there's a couple of new people that jumped on, so I will, are you trying to, are you trying to move, baby? Are you trying to reposition yourself? Huh? My sweetheart. So this is the leg. All the way up here, you can see it's very red and bruised. And again, this is the side, her eye area, which is bruised. Mommy, are you trying to get comfortable? That's also the side of her nose, which is deviated, her nostril on the left side. So obviously she had some sort of trauma to the left side of her, because that's where all of the issues are. Um, if you're just jumping on, this is Felicia that we brought in last night that was about to be euthanized. Um, <clears throat> we raced down to get her. We brought her up here to the 24-hour critical care hospital where she spent the night. We believed that she had neurologic issues um, when Amy and I were sitting with her and it was confirmed with the doctor this morning that she does indeed have neurologic um, symptoms to the left side of her face especially. Um, she's got damage to her left front leg, which is very bruised. Um, she's got an elevated white cell count. She's got an elevated protein count. Um, the doctor believes both of those things that are elevated could be related to trauma, but and so could her lung x-ray, which shows kind of cloudy. She said it could also be trauma-related, but just in case, because the white cell count is elevated um, a lot, she started her on IV antibiotics immediately this morning, just in case it is pneumonia. She was having some breathing difficulties last night, um, so she was started on IV antibiotics first thing this morning. She is still on IV fluids. She is on anti-nausea meds to try to help her have uh, an appetite to try to eat. So um, she has to stay in hospital for at least another two days. The doctor believes if it is all trauma related that she should start to slowly show signs of improvement. Um, so she will stay here with around-the-clock care for at least the next two days 
in a kind of wait and see pattern with supportive care, IV fluids, IV antibiotics, pain meds if she needs them, anti-nausea meds. Um, if two days comes and goes and there is no sign of improvement, then we need to start looking at other options um, of what could be causing her issues, which would be um, several other blood panels. Um, she said if, you know, God forbid she had cancer that would, would not show up on the blood panel we took or, you know, some sort of uh, degenerative disease wouldn't show up on the blood panels we took. Um, so we would have to start running more blood work if she doesn't show any signs of improvement. But we are hoping and praying that with two days of around-the-clock care and supportive care and monitoring that she will start to show some signs of improvement. Oh, mommy. I know, sweetheart. I know. I know, baby girl. I know. I know. It's okay. It's okay. So I'm asking you all to please, please say a prayer for sweet Felicia. And also, I'm going to pull this down again. This is our new estimate for the next two days. Um, this does not include the estimate from last night. That was just for the night of care. The low end is 1,200, the high end is 1,733. That is just to keep her here for the next two days on supportive care and all of the medications and things that she will need over the next two days, including a recheck of blood work to see if things are going in the right direction or getting worse. So I'm going to ask you all to please, please donate however much you can spare for Felicia. This is heartbreaking to see her in this condition and we want to do everything possible to help her. But unfortunately that costs money. And you saw the bills last night, if you watched our videos last night for her. It was well over $1,000 just for last night. We also have surgery tomorrow for Alfie, which is, I believe, somewhere between $2,700 and $3,300 tomorrow to repair his leg. We also still have the outstanding bills from Lenny and Squiggy, our Parvo puppies, combined I believe we owe somewhere near $5,000 still on their bills, or just over $5,000 if I remember correctly. And now we have little Felicia, who we desperately want to save, but unfortunately it takes money. So please, guys, I am begging you to donate so we can give this little girl everything that she needs to give her every possible chance for recovery. Hey, sweet girl. Hey, sweet girl. Mommy. Hey, Mommy. It's heartbreaking to see her in this condition. I can't even put it into words. You okay, mommy? All right, guys, I'm gonna sign off because her breathing is getting a little bit labored and I wanna get her back in the back. So again, the PayPal link is listed. If you can please donate whatever amount you can, it will be so appreciated. And please say a prayer for Felicia that we can get her through this. This is Tiffany signing off 100 plus abandoned dogs, Favorite Glakes, Florida.